Hey munchkins, what it is, Wagwan, back at you with another official mini mug. Bang! <laughs> I caught that. <laughs> I be trying to catch a song, gotta edit my thumbnail, y'all. Like, you know, the least amount of work, you know, that's what we're trying to do, it, you know what I'm saying? Work smarter, not harder, you dig? Anyhow, we're gonna pray over it so we can get some munching. And make it. Uh, munching. And make it. Good Lord, please have this food, please. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. So I just got some macaroni pie and some chicken. And I burnt it, which is why I'm not going to zoom in or feed a bite. And, but it still tastes great. <laughs> I had, like, y'all was trying to broil my cheese at the top. And then I got a phone call that distracted me and instead of four minutes it was in there for six minutes so it seems like it's burnt but it's so soft and moist and cheese in the milk good thing i had like a really wet cheese sauce but still it got a little burnt just a little bit just a little bit so what's going on everybody Shout out to the H family. What it is. Wild well, Wild with y'all. I'm about to get it popping with some of this. Uncle Ray and his nephew. Um, and so I was just on the phone. Shout out to my girl Carmella. What up, boo? Um, and she was sending me some old pictures, and, and she just sent me this link, this Facebook link. And when I tell you trick daddy, <laughs> it's a freaking riot. He's still out here telling these y'all no nail. <laughs> it's mad a bitch like me. <laughs> Cause he is going off, baby. <laughs> I was like, a couple weeks ago, y'all. A couple weeks ago, you hoes thought y'all was cute. <laughs> now you can't get them lace runs done. <laughs> Who wants to? I mean, I guess, you know, we got essentials out there and people that have to be out and about on a daily. I'm no longer one of those people. So, I guess to me, it doesn't make a lot of sense to be all dolled up, you know, just to go live on Instagram. But I only got like... 200 Instagram followers. <laughs> What's so bad if y'all see me or not? I love all you guys that do check it out, but I don't know. A lot of people about to be losing their damn mind. I don't know. I feel like all that material stuff was never a big deal. Um, outside of the ugh. Uh, outsider opinion. Oh, I'm gonna cry because I. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's okay. Shout out to Wilkie's world. Oh, good in her. Mm hmm. I was just cleaning all morning. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, all of that. Other people's opinion. For a while, everybody cares. You know, we're young. We want our peers to like us. 
because around us to accept us, whatever. If you're a bully, you're trash, you're garbage, you suck. <coughs> no kids are bully. Unless they find something in common with you or something like that, whatever. Or they was raised right, whatever. In a popular opinion, what people got to say, if they don't matter to me, what they say doesn't really matter. So, all that getting fancy just for the clout of it all was never never a worry of mine. So, it damn sure ain't, it ain't no worry to me now. So, oh. I could same way I put this wig on right now. You see me without it in the next eight videos because, you know, this is a once in a while type thing. I'm not trying to be false for nobody. If you're going to press my bell, you ain't going to catch me in this hair. So why the hell am I sit down, you know, every day putting it on? I think I'm saying I'm going to be me. Some days, shit, I had to go to the store today. I had to go get some stuff. So I went outside and I like to look presentable when I do that. <clears throat> and that does not mean that I need this wig in order to feel presentable. Because yesterday, I had to go outside too. And this wig was not with me. Nor were any of my other girls. So, wig or no wig, hair or no hair. Uh, nails or no nails. Um, makeup, we barely do anyway. I like it. You better love it. I like all of this. All of this. I know the hell out of that. I am serving today. Y'all see the cleavage? Y'all see the smile? Y'all see the face? To the gods. Without a beat. Baby, come on, son. Come on, son. Love yourself. Learn to love yourself. That's what you got to do. Learn to love yourself. I ain't no better time than the present to reflect, sit back, and get in touch with oneself. Learn to love thyself. I let like you know. Come on now, cut out. Cut out. Y'all gotta quit bullshit with yourself sometime. That's why I don't be finishing my food, because I be jacking up this damn liquid. Today's cocktail is a uh, spiked, uh, spiked iced tea. <laughs> Is it iced tea? Iced tea Sprite and Heineken. Gotta be creative. Even with what to consume. <laughs> I'm about to get it popping with these Uno cards. Play a game. We were saying that too. Get to know your kids. Put out some Uno cards. Get it popping with the Monopoly game or something. Run in the room and be like, what you doing? Ah, snatch their phone, run out the room, see what happens, you know? <laughs> you know? Show them why you love them. And then annoy the hell out of them. <laughs> like, that's what y'all like to do to me. I like to run in my room and annoy me, right? I want to be all up on, Ma, what you doing? Ma, Ma, Mommy, Mama, Mama. When that freaking commercial came out, for Family Guy. Anybody with kids has saw that commercial that had those kids then reenact that commercial on them, go do that right now. Press pause, walk into their room, say their name over and over again a good 10 to 12 times. And then when they say it again, what? Hi. And walk out the room. Let them see how it feel. Now is the time. Oh my God. Payback is perfect. They ain't got no school. They can't get away from you. Never mind. You can't get away from them. Now we flip the tables, guys. Now it's time to flip the tables. When I tell you I was annoying, 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 like, like that's how annoying, annoying the shit out of my daughter that other day, it was, it was priceless. Those are the precious moments that I live for. That's why we have kids. If you didn't know. Because payback is real. You know what I'm saying? Mine's about to be 20. Sophomore in college. Home because school is closed. <laughs> what? The most entertaining days of my life. Oh. 
uh, when things are like back to normal, normal, this is like, you know, something I did like kind of as a distraction, you know? I'm telling you, baby, it is fun. Baby girl, shout out to me Simone. Baby girl, it's fun. It's fun to know your kids sometimes. So if you got some, it's um, walk in the room with a snack that you know they're going to be like, oh, let me get some. And then act like you ain't here. <laughs> I mean, don't, okay, that's kind of rude, but act like you don't hear them and then walk out and then like stand. I just turned the corner into their room. And then, but they be like, ma, really? And they come up to the door be like, ah, put it in the guy. <laughs> it's funny. If, if you didn't laugh, you don't have kids or <laughs> your kids have never annoyed you. If you don't laugh just now. <laughs> or you've never paid, played a Crash Bandicoot. Booty booty gaga. Right? Is that what he said? Something like that. Mm. Oh my God, it's so good. That's the type of drink to get you drunk. In the middle of the afternoon. My butt, um, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. Um, as a matter of fact, it's 5 o'clock right here. Let me just double check it. So there's a 511. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. <sighs> and was today Thursday? Damn near the weekend. <laughs> Cheers to the freaking weekend. I'll eat to that. Yeah, yeah. about elementary school uh, to my homegirl Naomi um uh, one of my besties hit me up with some pictures today some old school pictures and one of them was from Carmela's like maybe 10th <laughs> excuse me 10th or 11th a shout out to Fritz Family Entertainment Huge Chipotle burrito mukbang. Go check them out. Um, it was on Carmela's 10th birthday. She was blowing out the candles on her cake. And Naomi has a cake cutter because they were going to be the ones to split the cake to cut the first slice of cake. And she just um, replied to my message like, oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> Naomi just replied to the message because I sent her the picture. And. I can remember it so vividly. It's astonishing. Well, maybe not. I don't know, but I remember that dress. I remember that. I remember. I remember you in that floral dress, Naomi. I remember. <laughs> and you had like a bang, like some curls or something. And I was helping you pack for the camping trip that I couldn't go on in the sixth grade. Let me tell y'all. All right, I'm about to open them. See, I hope y'all made it this far. You already heard the burp. I tried. I tried. I don't know. I might keep talking while I like. I might keep eating while I talk. But let me open them. See, y'all right now. Okay. This. Thing, I'm, let me tell y'all. All right. I am in my thirties, grown ass woman. I'm telling you about a sixth grade senior trip right now. Thanks a lot, Carmo. That's what this picture started. Sixth grade, senior trip. Let me get y'all set up, right? So, we were supposed to be going camp. It's not even a senior trip. It's not even sixth grade. It's fifth grade camping trip. My teacher, Miss Mintz. Shout out to you, Miss Mintz. I hope you're well. I hope you're well and doing good. Um, <clears throat> what's my teacher? At one this particular day, she had to step out of the room and do something. So she was like, nobody get up from your seat. So I'm like, all right, fine. We writing stuff. I crumple up a piece of paper. She has Miss Harris. Shout out to you, Miss Harris. Still love you. 
excuse me, come over to wash our class or whatever. I said, hey, Miss Harris, I got some garbage. Can I go throw this in the garbage can? She like, sure. Mind you, prior to that, I had it sitting there, but I was like, you know what? I don't want to come back in bugging because I got junk or whatever. I don't know. I was just like, I'm going to throw it in the garbage and throw it in the garbage. I was reading the book. I put my book down, get up and take the piece of paper to the garbage, come back to my desk, where's my book? Ron and Hassan play with my goddamn book. Play, keep away with the goddamn book. I'm like, yo, bro, come on, son. Just give me my damn book. Stop playing with the book. Now, they start to fight over the book. I don't start to fight with them for the book. They start to fight over the book. I'm like, yo, y'all read my book. Something happened to my book. Like, ugh, I'm smacking your mother. Right? Miss Mince comes back into the room, sees them, like, what y'all arguing over? What y'all fighting over? Uh -uh. They say, oh, my book. How to get the book? Oh, they took it off my desk. How he just take it off his desk? I went to throw something in the garbage and he took it off my desk. Didn't I tell nobody not to get up? I'm like, I got permission to get up. Oh, we're going to hold court. We're going to hold court. A whole big deal, miss. A whole big deal, miss. Like, really? You have to do all of that? You have to do all of that, miss, miss? For real? Then, final decision, the two motherfuckers is fighting that actually was fighting. Get to go on the trip. Who don't get to go on the trip? Sexist much? When I tell you, to this day, we got beef. Brown Green, me and you got beef. We straight got beef, buddy. You're not going to get away with this. And I feel the only reason you got to go on that trip is because your mother was working at the school. It was a conspiracy, Brown. It was a conspiracy. well heated right now. I am well heated. I still feel a way about that. Yes, I do. I don't care. Fifth grade my ass. They all had fun on that camping trip. And I remember coming over to your crib and helping you pack for that camping trip, Naomi, and 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 not being able to go and feeling, feeling away. Everybody was going to the store. Everybody was going. Y'all, let me tell you, this is a Brooklyn heritage right here. McCory's. Everybody was going in the McCory's, getting their sleeping bags and they camping stuff. And I couldn't join in that. I couldn't do that. Because I Oh, excuse me. I was because <laughs> that's how true it is. I wasn't able to go. When I tell you, I'm so upset. Uh, I still feel well. You stole my childhood, bro. I never forgive you for that, bro. I never forgive you for it. I don't care. I don't care. My kids can meet up next year and fall in love and be like you know I'm going to introduce you to my parents and I'm going and the daddy is you I'm going to be like nah son he can't have my seed bro he can't have her he can't have her now explain that to your son for the next 20 years see how you like it alright y'all you stole my you stole my shower I really wanted to go on it. Do the camping trip, man. It's not fair. It's not fair. It's not right, all right? It's not okay, okay? So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's giving you a little bit of me. A little bit of insight. No? Take it or leave it, buddy. Take it or leave it. If it's your first time here, Go on and hit that subscribe button and click the bell. So you can be here the next time I decide to share a little video up on YouTube. Much of a next, bro. And if you are a friend already and a member of the mob, thanks so much for coming back. Um, I just want to say, if nobody else has told you for today, you are loved in a very special way. I love you. God loves you. You out here doing it for yourself, your family, your friends. For us all, without bringing her to harm to yourself or anyone else. And for that reason, you are loved by me, by God, by whomever you choose to put your faith in. And for that reason, I hope you came here to do it. I know you came here to do it. Go on and do it. Like that. Shout out to at Mr. Underscore Hotspot for giving me that wonderful way to spread smiles. Um... 
you know, just be kind to one another out there. Times is tough. We don't really need to be criticizing anybody. Braun, it ain't that serious. I'm still tight. I don't know. I still might be like, we can't have my daughter's hand because he took away my childhood. But, you know, that's somebody that you love. Know you love them. And um, be glad. You've got life. You've got health. You've got strength, God willing. And, you know, you're making it. We will get out of this together by staying apart. So keep your kids in the house. Go bug the shit out of them. And then tell them to go to sleep or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed much with me because I enjoyed much with you. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell button so you can be notified every time I drop a new video on the line. And I will see you when, where, same YouTube channel, same YouTube time. Bye!